cannot believe this just happened in Rainbow Friends. Guys, in this video, we just found the craziest Rainbow Friend plot twist ever. And trust us when we say, we could have never imagined this was in Rainbow Friends all this time. Watch until the end and let us know if you were shocked after learning the shocking truth about Rainbow Friends. Let's go. We're actually going left in Oddworld. Wait, what? Guys, this is a deleted scene from Rainbow Friends where you turn the bus left. Do you see that? We were in the bus. Yeah, normally you always go to the right. We're but going now to the left. We're going to Oddworld. Whoa! Wait, what? Guys, this is insane. We actually went to the left. We went to Oddworld. And look, it's a brand new map. Wait, what? Wait, dude. This is like the colors of the Ferris wheel in Oddworld. This is crazy, man. Guys, this is actually what happens if you go left to Oddworld like you're supposed to. Dude, it's like a fun place. It's not like there's no Rainbow Friends trying to oof us. Oh, God. So we actually went left in Oddworld. But wait, Adam. There's like toxic sludge. You think it's like fun slime or sludge, dude? I think it's like green's oof. Wait, try and touch it. See what happens. Okay, I'll try it. Try here and go. <gasps> oh! So there is stuff that oofs you here, guys. Wait, guys. This is actually what happens if you turn the bus left and go to Oddworld like you're supposed to. This is insane. Okay, so this is interesting, guys. So the Rainbow friends are not here. They're not trying to oof us, but there is like, whoa, there's balloons. Oh, no way. Wait, is the sign that says don't pop the balloons? What happens if you do? Um, I'll try jumping on. <gasps> Adam! The balloons oof you too! Oh my goodness, guys. So Oddworld is like dangerous, but at least there's no rainbow friends. Yeah, so I guess they're filled with like oof gas. Wait a minute. Who's that? Is that blue? That's blue, but he got <sighs> oofed in here. He's taking a nap. Can I go over there? Oh, no way. I'm going... I'm going off the grid, bro. Okay, don't step on the balloon. Bro, I'm going way off the grid, bro. Check this out, guys. Nice. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, it's blue. Can you jump on blue? <gasps> oh! Blue still oops you even if he's asleep. Wait, what? Guys, this is so crazy. We actually <laughs> turned the bus left. That's crazy, because normally at the start, you always go to the right. Like, red flips the arrow to the right, and you always yeah. go there. But we actually went left. Dude, I feel like the person who flipped the sign might have been blue. You think so? I don't know, guys. That was so crazy. You guys might want to rewatch this video and see what was the color of the hand that turned the sign. Mm, yeah, guys. Watch that part closely. Guys, this is crazy. Oh! Now we gotta, like, pick a door. Dude, this is a whole brand new map. This is Oddworld. Oh, no way. What is... Oh, I oofed. Oh, so only one of these doors works, guys. You gotta pick the right door. Adam oofed. I'm gonna try uh, pink or blue. Blue. Uh, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, it's gotta be pink. Wait a minute. Pink, like the pink rainbow friend? No way, the unreleased? Yeah, or like alphabet lord letter P. So there is the teleporter right here, guys. This is so crazy, guys. Wait, now we're stuck. We go this way. <gasps> we're going in the vents. Is this like orange's base? Uh-oh. No way. This might be Orange's hideout, guys. So all of this is brand new, and you can only unlock this by going left. This is actually what happens if you go left in Oddworld, guys. And I heard there's something even crazier at the end that we might get to see because we went left. So this is like a like a maze or something? Guys, it's like a real deep message, guys. In life, when everyone's going right, go left. Exactly, guys. Go your own way. Go left. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, guys. Do your own thing, Adam. Where are you? Okay, watch out for the toxic sludge, though. It still might oof you. Yeah, that would be bad. This is so crazy, bro. The Roblox developers did not want you to see this. Not at all, guys. Like, someone actually must have programmed Rainbow Friends to allow us to go left, and it just put us in this crazy world. Dude, this is the Roblox they don't want you to see. Exactly, guys. And the end is shocking. The end will shock you. Exactly, guys. Here right, we go. I'm gonna jump on the vents. <gasps> it's like Purple's vents. Wait a minute. This is like Oddworld. They might have put toxic poison in the vents to oof Purple. Oh. That's so evil. No, don't move purple. He's nice. Oh, we go this way here. Whoa, it's giant blocks. Wait, what is this? Guys, this is actually our world if you go left. Adam moved. I fell. Oh, because the water rises. Oh, you have to like run before the water rises. This is so creative. Wait, this is like the castle area if it was flooding. And you know who would be here if it was flooding? Yellow. Quack, 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 quack. quack. Oh, you're right. Definitely Ooh. yellow. Ouch. I should have stopped on the rock, bro. Oh, guys. This game is actually insane. Guys, this game's actually really hard. Okay, we're going to stop right here. Can you jump on blue, do you think? I think so. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to get on the rock. We almost doofed right here. Get on the rock. Here we go. Nice. Dude, that is not easy, bro. Guys, we actually went left in Oddworld. Guys, this is what happens if you go left in life, bro. So this has got to be where they're hiding all the new Rainbow Friends. What? Like, they didn't put them in the in the right game. They put them in the left game. You're right. Because no one is normally over here. I am right, but we're left. 
I don't have no abs. I know uh, to know my directions, I go like this, and the L stands for left. Exactly, guys. Exactly. Exactly. W. Here we go, nice. W. All right, we made it, dude. Like alphabet lore. Dude, oh, like uh, alphabet lore. Man, and purple's over here, too. Purple's in the vents, bro. Purple's in the vents. Yeah, What is this? Cool. We gotta jump on the fuses. Oh, uh, no way. Are you serious? They put the fuses in the water to make electro hydropower. Do not try that at home. It is dangerous. Dude, I can't believe they would do that. Dude. It's the, it's the Rainbow Friends Odd World. <gasps> what is this? Are you serious? What is this, bro? Please, no. This is what happens if you go left in Odd World. Oh, guys, this is so bad. This is a whole new game, guys. This might be um Rainbow Friends Chapter 2, like early access. And they did hide a bunch of new secret Rainbow Friends at the end because they didn't think anyone would ever be able to go left. What is this, bro? I just got a pop-up on my screen. Laser Blaster? Wait, what? Okay, guys, I just bought the pink laser blaster. I don't know what that pop-up was. You want to try it, Adam? Yeah, sure. I'm going to try it on Adam. Ready? Yeah. Wait, what? Hey! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. I literally just bought, like, a power link. I don't even have an item. I can just click and do that. Wait, that reminds me of in um alphabet lore when peep, 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 and, like, fights F and F, like, laser blaster. It looked oh. just like that. So maybe it's, like, a secret alphabet lore blaster. Do you guys think Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 will have to do with the alphabet lore? I think so, yeah. Let us know in the comments, guys. Let us know. Yeah, that's important, guys. I want to know. Yes. All right, guys, this is so crazy, guys. This is actually what happens if you go left into Oddworld. This is crazy, man. This is so crazy. Hey, Adam, um, why, why don't you go ahead and cross these planks? Um, okay, sounds why good. Why don't you go ahead and cross these planks, dude? Yeah, I have not gotten a checkpoint for a while, yeah, guys, so Adam, Adam, um, you should try and make the same pose as Orange. Um, okay, sounds good. Try to make the same so I'll pose. just oof like that, and then, what? Yay! <laughs> dude, come on, man. I have to go back to the start. I'm just, I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing. I won't do that anymore. I probably Why did you buy the laser blaster? I don't know. I don't, the game offered for me to buy it. I don't even understand. That's crazy, dude. Guys, that's so crazy. Look, it literally says that we like got superpowers in the game, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. Guys, this is literally um so crazy, guys. This is what happens if you go left into Odd World, man. Yes, very true. Do you think guys. we'll get to ride the Ferris wheel at the end? No way, you never get to ride that. There's still more. You guys can see, this is like the back rooms of Oddworld. They got like the, the blue cutouts over here. Oh man, yeah guys, normally you never get to ride the Oddworld ride. Oh, where am I supposed to go, in the vents? You gotta be in the vents. Go van. in the vents. <gasps> you go in the vents! You go in the vents, so it's like we're purple, just like Justin's hair. Oh my goodness, am I turning into, into purple? Oh no, guys. Oh, I don't no. want to turn into purple rainbow friend! That would be spooky. <laughs> that would be so spooky. That would be justy spooky time. <laughs> spooky justy time, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm looking, bro. I I I I almost touched the the ooze. How do we get out of here, man? That would have oofed me just like purple. Yeah, don't get oofed by purple, guys. I'm going left. Every turn I see, I just go left because we went left into Odd World. Exactly, guys. Oh, I see you. Uh, I see you too, bro. Man, this maze is nuts. Watch oh. out! Watch out! Did we find it? Is this the exit? No way. Did we just escape Odd World, bro? <gasps> no, we did not. Oh my goodness! This is what happens if you go left in Odd World. Guys, this is crazy. This is nuts. So, uh, is this like the workshop, but it's like we're tiny little toys now? It might be the workshop. We might be some tiny toys. Guys, we are tiny Rainbow Friend toy dolls in the workshop. Bro, we got... I got oof like a tiny toy. Guys, wait, how did Justin get oof? Because I was a tiny toy. Oh, man, guys. I can't believe we actually went left at Oddworld. <laughs> I like I didn't realize this what happens if you go left in Oddworld. Exactly, guys. And you actually reset all the way back to the start of you get oofed here, so it's very dangerous. <laughs> I hope you don't get oofed, Adam. Yeah, that'll be bad. That'll be really bad. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, because guys, there's like no checkpoints in this section. So like <laughs> Okay. Let me just get past this uh, you part. You ready? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Dude, oh, come on, man! Why? <laughs> Dude, I didn't get the checkpoint. Dude, come on, man. Come on, dude. I'm sorry, Adam. I shouldn't have done that. I feel real lousy about myself. Ouch. I'm sorry, Adam. I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it's okay. I accept your apology. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Whoa, you got to go out here on the box and then go up here. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, this is a really tricky obby, guys. This is really unlike everything we've ever played because we actually went left in Oddworld. Exactly, guys. We actually got to go left in Oddworld. What is this? The floor is lava? 
No way, dude. Oh my goodness, guys. This is unreleased footage of what happens if you go left in Odd World. Yes, guys. This is crazy. This is what Roblox did not want you to see. Oh my <sighs> goodness, I moved. How do you beat that? Dude, this is tricky. Because we're going left in Odd World. Yes, guys. Never before done. That's why everyone else goes right and Lanky Box takes an L and goes left. We both, <laughs> oofed. We both oofed. Are you kidding me? Yes, guys. Every time people take W's, we take L's. We go the other way. We take L's. We go left. L dude, for left. Dude, how do you make this jump? I don't know. Maybe you jump on the left thing first. Oh, you just gotta make a huge jump. Oh, that's tricky. Oh my goodness, bro. It's more rainbow obbies um, because it literally looks like this is the Ferris wheel, guys. When we went left in Oddworld, we'll replay that cutscene. This is like, that's like what the Ferris wheel looks like. Oh yeah, you're right. They might have taken apart the Ferris wheel and put it inside of here. Oh man, they used the parts from the Ferris wheel to make the obby? They used it here too. Dude, what? Because we're going left. Oh my goodness, guys. This is ridiculous. Why is this so difficult? Guys, what is gonna be at the end of the obby? It's so difficult! Maybe it's gonna be like Red really upset because he doesn't want anyone to go left at Oddworld. There's purple! There's purple in the vent and they have a clone of purple. Oh, man. Those are his arms, I didn't even see that. Yeah, those are the purple arms and Justin has to go all the way back. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Man, I cannot believe I just went left at Oddworld, bro. Yeah, never ever done before, guys. Never seen before. Exactly. Do we escape? No. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's like orange clones. Not yet, guys. We're not <clears throat> out of orange's base quite yet. Orange's magma's everywhere, bro. Guys, we actually went left at Odd World. He filled the room with his magma lava. Exactly, guys. Yes. Exactly. Best what's going on. <gasps> it's more water. This is so crazy. How how big is this map? It's huge, guys. It's huge. It's huge because we went left at Odd World. Oh boy. This is what happens if you go left at Odd World. Exit. Do we make it? No way. No. It's the final part, Adam. Where are you at, bro? Uh, I'm about to beat Orange part. Don't pop the balloons. Okay, so you can't. So that's interesting. If you go right at Odd World, you're supposed to pop the balloons and wake up blue. But if you go left at Odd World, you're not supposed to, bro. Oh God. Adam is really struggling and not able to make it past Orange's magma. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Adam is really struggling. We're gonna see Rainbow Runs Chapter 2. Yes. We went left to Odd World. We are, guys. We are. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be crazy. I'm out of here, dude. I'm out of here. Oh, I oofed. There's red oof everywhere. It might belong to the red scientist. Red glowing oof everywhere you look. Uh, Watch out. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Nice. I'm out of here. What's gonna happen? <gasps> oh no. Winners. Winners. Wait. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what? Ah! What is that? What is that? What is that? Dude, what is that? Wait, you're now like a glowing blue and I'm a ghost blue. Wait, and now we're back in the original map. Guys, this might be like the forgotten rainbow friend and the rejected rainbow friend because we went left at Odd World. This is blue after he oofed. Guys, He's a ghost. Always go left, bro. The main rainbow friends are exactly what you would expect. Brightly colored creatures that all get along as pals. Sure, there may have been a few incidents here and there where they may have fought. But even the closest of brothers do that occasionally. For the most part, blue, orange, green, and purple have been best buds since they were transformed from humans. But what if I told you there was one rainbow friend in particular that they always hated? Someone that was never loved or invited to their various parties. Wow, that's sad. So he's saying basically all the rainbow friends, blue, orange, green, purple, are like brothers and they fight, which is true because Adam and I are brothers, but we still fight sometimes. But there's one rainbow friend that they all really don't like. Which rainbow friend is rejected? I know what you're thinking. It's probably red, right? While it's true Red is hated by the Rainbow Friends now, he had plenty of opportunities to be accepted by the group. It's his own fault he chose to destroy and deceive at every possible turn. And even now, if he was to ask for forgiveness, they would probably forgive all the bad things he's done. No, this is the story of a Rainbow Friend no one knows or cares about. The Rejected Rainbow Friend. Gray. Oh my goodness, it's like a little centipede. Ew! Guys, so they're saying the rejected rainbow friend is the one that's called Gray, and it's like a little ant centipede, bro. To fully understand his sad tale, we must go back to where it all began, back before he was the hideous ant-like monster he is today. Gary Grayson seemed like a very normal child growing up. Yo? He was polite to his parents and got good grades in school. He was very healthy for his age. Okay, wait a minute. Is this the story of Adam? No, because I didn't do well in school. Yeah, but you did have notes like this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love him, mom. Okay, okay. He was very healthy for his age and loved to spend time outdoors. On top of that, he always had a fascination with animals. But unlike the other kids, who enjoyed learning about all sorts of large zoo creatures or ancient dinosaurs, Gary was only interested in one very specific region of the animal kingdom. But... What? His obsession started off small, with a simple butterfly, fluttering through the air. But quickly he wanted to learn about every insectoid he could. Bees, centipedes, ladybugs. If it buzzed in the air or crawled on the ground, Gary had to know more about it. Ah, uh, he let the bugs crawl all over him. So he loved bugs, guys. He loved bugs. Wait a minute. This literally is Adam. Guys, if you want to see a secret Lanky Box story about how Adam once had a bunch of ants as pets, look up Lanky Box animated story. That's a real story. He would spend multiple hours a day after school looking for new specimen to study. When he found something, he'd collect them in jars, like a prized trophy. Proud of his discoveries, he would try to show off to the other children. They did not share Gary's enthusiasm for bugs, however. In fact, they all found them yucky and unpleasant to look at. Some oh. of the meaner boys would take his bugs and- Hey! He squished a bug? That's messed up. Never do anything like that ever in your life. Right, well said. Ah. Some of the meaner boys would take his bugs and squash them under their feet. They'd call him names like Gross Gary or Bug Boy and would shove him to the ground. If you like insects so much, you should just stay down in the dirt with them. Yeah, they're your only real friends, Bug Boy. <laughs> Man, that's not cool, guys. We've said it before. We'll say it again. Meanies are weenies. You know what I mean? I agree, guys. Be nice and be lit. Be super lit, bro. <laughs> Don't be a meanie. Be the opposite, which is have lit fun. In a strange way, however, without their bullying, he may not have discovered his most favorite insect of all, the mighty ant. Yeah. They were everything Gary wished he was. Both super strong for their size and constantly surrounded by friends and family. Okay. You see, while Gary's social life wasn't particularly good, his home life was actually worse. His parents fought all the time, screaming and yelling at each other at the top of their lungs. Man, this is really sad, bro, because um, nobody likes him at school. They're picking on him, and then at home, his parents are fighting. It's really sad. That is sad, guys. You can't keep supporting Gary's weird obsession with bugs. It's creepy and weird, and all the kids hate him for it. I mean, he's a freak. We should take him to the Rainbow Friends play place like a normal boy. He's not interested in that stuff, and I don't want our son to be friends with bullies anyways. If learning about insects makes him happy, we should let him. Eventually, the two had to split up. The mom and dad just couldn't agree on anything, and he had to move out. And since his dad was in the army, he was gone for long periods of time. With his father out of the picture, Gary was forced to give up his bug collection. It was all he really ever cared about. Gary wasn't even allowed to talk about bugs. If he did, his mom would make him do all sorts of difficult chores. If you want to talk about ants so much, then you must not mind working as hard as an ant. Gary was miserable. But whenever his dad was back in Bloxburg, Gary got to stay at his house. Wow, man, that's so sad, bruh. They're making him do a bunch of chores just because he likes bugs? His mommy said, if you like bugs, you got to work like one, bruh. Man, that's not what? lit. The only time he's happy when he see his daddy. Yeah, that's true. That is so not lit, his mom, bro. Gary would look forward to it for months. Remember? Absolutely no mention of insects of any kind. You hear me? No bug talk. Got it. Luckily for Gary, his dad didn't care about what mom thought. He just wanted to make his boy happy. I got this for you, buddy. You can open it, but we gotta keep it here at my place. It'll be our little secret. Oh, wait a minute! That's an ant farm! Adam has one of those! I literally had one of those when I was younger, guys, and I accidentally spilled it all over. Guys, if you want to hear that story, look up our story. Wait, this is literally story of Adam. Adam, but did you get the ant farm from your D? <laughs> yes, dude, and it was lit! <laughs> and you were having lit fun, huh? Yes, man. Yeah. It was the best present Gary could have asked for. His very own ant farm. Nice! Every time he was able to visit his dad, he would examine it for hours. Unfortunately, Gary was only able to visit his dad when he wasn't off fighting in the war. Oh. At one time, he never returned. Huh. He was the only one oh. that was ever truly nice to Gary. Huh. The only person supportive that didn't make him feel like a loser. Ah. 
Oh. Wait, why did this video get to be so sad so fast? This shit messed up, bro. To make matters even worse, it meant that his mom was finally able to find the ant farm. And she was furious. I can't believe you, Gary. All these years, you've been lying to me? When will you get over this stupid bug stuff and just grow up? It's time to teach you a lesson once and for all. The mom took the ant farm outside and smashed it to smithereens. She poured gas on the rubble and lit it on fire. What? Why? Don't do that, guys. That's not cool for this real. Is, that is not lit. That's She's oofing. Yeah, guys. Bugs are cool. That is not lit. It broke Gary. He felt like he had no real family left. He was now all alone in this world. Man, that's so not lit. Be nice, be lit. Yes. <laughs> Eventually, though, the years passed, and he was finally old enough to move out. He decided, against the wishes of his mother, to pursue his passion of entomology. His good grades helped him get into one of the most prestigious colleges in all of Roblox. It was everything he could have ever dreamed of. There were bug species neatly organized all over the room. Hey, Adam, what's so funny, bruh? I agree, Justin. Everyone, make sure to be nice and be lit. That's a great motto. Make sure to have <laughs> kindness in your heart and lit fun <laughs> in your brain. Yes. So he go to school to be a bug person. Oh, I got it. That's cool. Surrounded by magnifying glasses, microscopes, and other testing equipment. Gary could spend all day and night studying. Even better, he was finally around other people that shared his same love of insects. Nice! His first human friends. And that's all he needed to be happy for the first time in a long time. Sure, he didn't have much to his name, just a small dorm room and a new ant farm, just like the one his dad got him all those years ago, but that's all he wanted. Unfortunately, going to a fancy college was far from cheap, and Gary didn't have a job. He never really got much experience in high school, so he was desperate for anything that had decent pay. That's when he sought an ad for a job at the Rainbow Friends Play Play. No! This is so sad, bro. His life was finally turning around. He finally made friends. He, he got to be around the bugs. He escaped his mommy and the meanies. And now, but he's going to go to the Rainbow Friends Play Place and get trapped and turn into a Rainbow Friend. Exactly, guys. He needed money, so he has to work at the Rainbow Friends Play Play. This is so sad, man. Everything was finally turning around for him. Gary remembered his mother talking all about it as a kid. Surely it'd be a good spot to make some cash. So he called the number. Uh, hello. Is this the Rainbow Friends Play Place? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Are you inquiring about the position that just became available? Uh, yeah. But the ad doesn't say what I'd be doing or how much I'd be making, and... Well, why don't you give us a visit, and I'll go over all the details. Suddenly, no! the line went dead, and Gary hung up. He was nervous. He leaned over to his ant farm and picked up some of his friends. All right, guys. Wish me luck. I feel like I'm going to need it. Bruh. I'm sure you can imagine what happens next. Bruh. Gary drove to the play place and found the place looking trashed and abandoned. He knew it seemed risky to enter, but he was just so desperate for money. He couldn't let his dream die, so he went inside. He walked through the various halls, searching for Red's office. Or anyone, really. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? When suddenly, down the hallway, a light from one of the labs turns on. Gary cautiously stepped inside to find a strange contraption wearing to life. No. What is this no. place? Why, it's your new home. Huh? Ah! No! But what neither Red or Gary realized was that one of Gary's ants was still on him. Ah! Huh? What? No, what have you become? Some kind of bug? No child would want to come pay money to see a disgusting creature like you. Get out of my sight. Huh? Gray wanted to run away, to return to his studies, but he knew that Red was right. If no one liked him when he was younger, they certainly weren't going to accept him now. Man, that's so sad, bro. So that's why he was rejected. Bro, he turned into an ant and people still don't like him. Oh, man. His only hope to fit in was with the other rainbow friends, blue, orange, green, and purple. But even they were disgusted by him. They laughed at his lack of colors, at his insect-like appearance. They called him names and wouldn't even invite him to their parties. 
Sorry, pal, but Gray isn't a part of any rainbow I'm aware of. Get lost, you bug-eyed freak! Crawl back to whatever hole in the ground you came from. Yeah! And so he did. Maybe one day the others will accept Gray for who he is. They'll see that they've now become the bullies that used to pick on all of them. But until then, Gray will hide away in his tiny bunker, hidden away from everyone else as the rejected Rainbow Friend. That's so sad! Well, it's Alphabet Lore! Oh, cool, as Rainbow Friends! It's Alphabet Lore Rainbow Friends? What are they doing? They're in the desert, it's super hot out. Okay, it, yep, they're getting sweaty, they need some water. Oh man, they're thirsty. It's B for blue, oh, they need water, they're out of water. Oh, they got no water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. <sighs> Oh, what? They're all fighting over the water. <gasps> What's red gonna do? Well, yeah, red. That's R. That's red alphabet lore. Rainbow friend. Huh? What's he doing? What? What's he doing? <laughs> They're spelling water. Oh, that's genius. Oh. And they made water. What are they gonna do? Drink themselves? That doesn't even make sense. They're drinking themselves! Ah! Ah! Now it's Rainbow Friends, but the colors are swapped. What the heck is going on in this place? The colors have gone haywire. Come back here, purple. I have a surprise for you. Is that blue? I don't need any more surprises from this place, blue. Not even from you. Huh? <sighs> what? Just gotta keep moving. I'll get to the bottom of this or die trying. What? Uh-oh. Ah, let go of me, Red. Wait, Red? Oh my goodness, it's Blue Red Rainbow Friend put together. I got it. So this is the Rainbow Friends, but the colors are swapped. So this is blue, but he's actually red. No. Blue? Is that you? What happened? I had an extreme makeover. <laughs> oh. Are you the one responsible for this place's colors getting all mixed up? In a way, but none of that matters. Your colors are gonna change too. I'm so excited to see whose color you get, but you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Bruh. I don't wanna be a different color. I like being purple, being me. Too bad, you don't have a choice. None of us do, not anymore. Allow me to explain just how the Rainbow Friends colors became swapped. Oh. It all started just yesterday. Red was, as usual, testing out his latest scheme to turn human again. I stood by and watched even as the ground shook and the earth quaked. I yelled for him to stop, that we should think about the consequences of our actions before moving onwards. Red ignored my shouts, and the experiment continued. Whoa! His lab started to tear apart, as its walls and floors and everything within distorted and shifted colors. It was like being in a kaleidoscope. Wow. Under any other circumstances, I would have called it beautiful. All of these changes erupted from one singular point, one nexus. And from that nexus, a wave of energy blasted out. Red was the first to change. Uh -huh. From the epicenter of the blast, the waveform sprung out. As it passed over Red's body, his colors began to shift uncontrollably. Oh my goodness, guys! It's the Rainbow Rainbow Friends. So basically, Red and Blue were in Red's laboratory, and Red was doing a science experiment, and it literally sucked up all the colors and jumbled them up, bro. I wonder what the end of this video is gonna be. For a Rainbow Friend, you can imagine how traumatic this was for him. I could only watch in horror as he reached his arms out at me in a desperate attempt towards freedom. But I too was quickly swept under the influence of the wave. It was unimaginably painful. <laughs> Losing my color, getting attacked, going through every spectrum of the rainbow along the way. It was like I was losing my identity, the very core of my being. The wave permeated the entire facility, covering every inch. Except, I suppose, deep down below in the sewers, which explains why you escaped its effects. When the earth again stood still and the dust settled, I stood up and examined myself for injuries. But when I did, what I saw, I couldn't believe. Gone was my deep blue color that I had come to love, replaced by the striking and brilliant red. And not only that, but I could tell that my brain had become wired differently. Suddenly I wanted nothing more than to run experiments, to make the Rainbow Friends a huge success, and of course, to become human again. My mind raced and raced about which color of the rainbow I should attempt to make a friend for next. 
I only stopped myself when I saw Red stand up, holding his head. Only red wasn't red. Huh. It had become my original beautiful shade of blue. Oh my goodness. So red and blue swapped colors. And it looks like they swapped brains also. Because all of a sudden blue wants to run experiments and take over the world, bro. Wow, this video is awesome. Which I understand is an insult to my former self, of course. But I've evolved past it. I felt sorry for red and all the other rainbow friends. Because I knew myself in that moment to be far superior. With the rest of you being nothing more than brutes. I recognized that I could use my friends as pawns to get the play place back in business. I turned on our open for business sign, and I laughed and I laughed into the night as my plans were set in motion. Red quickly fell in line, having no choice if he wanted to be human again. Meanwhile, on the other side of the facility, Green and Orange were in another one of their classic spats. Orange was zipping around Green, who couldn't land a hit on the speedy dino due to being blind. Orange laughed at his ill-sighted friend, when the wave washed over them too. Orange's colors were the first to change. He became pink, then blue, then red, before finally settling on green. As he recovered from this painful ordeal, he realized that he could no longer see. He outstretched his arms and tried to make his way around, but found himself stumbling over everything around him. Green, on the other hand, had just undergone a transformation that he was entirely grateful for. He examined his new orange body with his now working set of eyes. He could see again. He was ecstatic. But that's not all. He was also... hungry. Green used his newfound sight to glance at the security monitors, and saw that guests had seen that they were open again. They were funneling in, and all Green saw then was a feast. Orange, for his part, knew the hunger all too well. Oh my goodness, so green and orange also swap colors, and they also swap brains, because all of a sudden, green, who's now orange, got all hungry. He wants to eat everybody. Oh, because orange always likes eating, and you guys should eat Leggy Box kitchen food. Ciao! Knew the hunger all too well, and so tried to stop his friend from going down that self-destructive path. Unfortunately, without his sights, Orange felt helpless. A feeling that was only made worse as he bumped into a nearby wall and knocked himself out. A group of guests made their way through the halls of the play place, wondering to themselves where the employees were, when Green found them. <coughs> At first, they were excited to see him. A brand new take on the classic Rainbow Friend design. But their smiles quickly turned to frowns, their laughter turning to cries as Green set upon them. <laughs> he was vicious and out for blood. Ah! To stop his tirade, I sent my right-hand man, my enforcer, Red. Caught between the two monsters, the guests fled, and Green was outraged. He tackled Red, and the two engaged in a Rainbow Friends fight the likes of which this play place has never seen. Red had my strength, but Green now had Orange's vicious temper, as well as his sight. It was a close battle, but Green eventually came out on top. As Green stood victorious, a bumbling orange tripped over Red and knocked Green out by accident. Red awoke, and the two of them dragged Green to the lab to contain him. I helped the two to restrain Green, who at this point was absolutely freaking out, shouting about how hungry he was. Despite this, I was able to re-engage my plans, and soon, the play place was once again full of happy guests. It was like back when it first opened. With money flowing in, surely I'd be able to use the funds to research new developments and make us all human again. Unfortunately, Green was not on board. From the lab, he mustered the strength to break free from his restraints. Enraged and unruly, he began to completely trash the lab. As a result of his destruction, once more the nexus point from the previous experiment sprung to life, and the color wave returned. The wave shut out through the facility, and once again us Rainbow Friends felt its effects. But we weren't the only ones. The guests too were changing colors, what? convulsing on the ground in pain. As for us, we became feral, as Green had, and started chasing after the mutating guests, sending them running for their lives. <laughs> I still don't know exactly what became of them. I wonder if their families accepted them back in. Regardless, us Rainbow friends soon passed out. When the event was over, I alone woke up and glanced at my friends. I retained the color of red, and with it, his drive, his cunning. And so, I got to work once more. I contained the remaining friends, their colors now twisted and shifting to no end. They're all now locked up in my lab. That's right, Blue's lab. I'm the new Red, and I'm in charge now. <laughs> uh. I've got them all. My rainbow friends. All of them, except for you.
Now, Blue, be reasonable. Can't you just let me go? Sounds like Red's not even in control anymore. You don't have to follow in his footsteps. You're right. I don't have to. I want to. You're just as much of a monster as he is. Huh. All right, then. Do your worst. With pleasure. <laughs> no! What the? What? Another wave? Why? No! No! Ha! Take that! No! Ha <laughs> uh, Me again. That was a close one. Sorry about that, Purple. Uh, Purple? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> ah! Purple's not here right now. <laughs> Wait, is Rainbow Friends against Purple? What? Purple in the vents. Oh, no way. Purple in the vents. Uh oh. What is that? Who's chasing them? What orange? is that? Is that. Is that orange? They're playing um, video games. What is that? Why orange got like a mask on? Wait, they switch colors. It's blue, green, and green, blue. Oh, weird. What is. They all change colors. Last, Last night. Bro. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, no. Wait. Yo, hey, someone is sucking out the color, bro. They actually turned him into gray, Rainbow Friend. And then someone took all the color. It must have been red. It must have been red scientist. So they're, red. they're absorbing the colors out of the Rainbow Friend. Why did they do that? Oh, my goodness. And they switched them all. It's oh. like the video we just saw. Man. And now it's green. <laughs> But he's blue. This is insane, dude. This really... He got Thor's hammer. Oh, what? No okay. And that's yellow. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's like their alarm clock. Okay. And is he going to realize that he got his color absorbed? Okay. Thor's hammer. Oofed him. <laughs> This plot is crazy, guys. Here we go. I'm trying my best to understand. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. <laughs> they're buddies. All right, nice. Cool. <laughs> they're brothers. This is lit, guys. Okay, they're fighting. They're brothers. Okay. Okay. Okay, the hammer gonna bonk him. <laughs> oh, the hammer. What's going on? <laughs> zapping him. Why did they change colors about who did this? Was it Red Scientist? I think it was Red. I think it was a Red Scientist. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, and so now they're on the news? No, they're, they're explaining what happened last night. Got it. <laughs> on the news? That's not on the news, bro. <laughs> What's so funny? All right, guys, so they're all talking. And, and now they're back in now the they're back in the van, back in the van. They gotta find out who did this to them, bro. They gotta find out who did this to them, bro. Yo, go, it's guys. red. It's gotta be red. They're looking down in there. It's red. Nice. Yo, yo. It's red, and he yeah. has all the DNA. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness, he stole all their DNA, bro. They're about to get revenge on red. Ow! Oh! They fell on him. It's it's just like the video we saw. They're like, turn us back, bro. Huh? Oh no way. Bro, swap, swap color. color. Did he swap their colors, bro? So they're gonna be like, Red, you better swap us back. Why Red do this? Red is so crazy. All because of you. He likes messing with people. <laughs> oh, they beat him up. No. Yo, oh, they're back in the cryo chambers. They turn back. Let's go. What is this? Is a grab pack? Whoa, it's blue. Whoa, and it's a 360 video. Oh my goodness, he went raw. Oh, grab pack blue. Oh, that's awesome. He's scared. He's backing up. You better back up, buddy. You better back up. He's Wait, running. He's running from us. He's running because he's scared. We got a grab pack, dude. That's awesome, guys. We have five amazing videos to show you today. We're gonna learn the origin story of Green from Rainbow Friends. Bro, bro we tried to grab pack it, but he missed. We, he dodged, bro. Oh man, can we catch him? We got catch him. We got catch him like some ketchup. Oh, wow. We blocked the way. That was smart. Wow, guys. Okay, can we get him? I'm going over here. What's that blue exe? Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, he's cornered. Uh oh. What's he You're gonna do? You're cornered. You can't. Oh, he he, he try to fight you. Oh my goodness. Oh. He ate it up. And this is the sad origin story of Green from Rainbow Friends. <laughs> oh 
Green can hear. Green cannot see in the game, but he can hear. He knows where she is, bro. Oh, boy. Bruh. Bruh. Oh! Hide in the locker. Why do you run like that? To get to know me more? I suppose as new friends, I tell you a bit about myself. Wow, so that's green, man, that guy. Wow, and we are gonna learn how green turned from a human into a rainbow friend. I tell you a bit about myself. Come on, guys, please, let me out. <laughs> It all started in high school. That man, that's messed up. He's in school and he's getting picked on. They put him in a locker. Not cool. Not cool, bro. I may not have been a monster then, but I had plenty of them to deal with. The other kids picked on me for my height, calling me names like Beanpole. I tried to go to the principal, but they weren't any help. It only made things worse. Man, everyone's picking on him for what? Being tall? Why would you pick on someone for that? I guess so, yeah. Never be mean to people, guys. My parents turned a blind eye to my problems, too. They figured, due to my size, that I was just overreacting. But I couldn't take it anymore. I screamed, and I cried every night. It got so bad that my parents made me see a therapist. She even gave me a stress ball. She told me that whenever I felt sad, or lonely, or mad, that I should just give it a big squeeze. Oh, so he's happy he's got a stress ball. But is that like Green in the game when he oops you, he squeezes you? We're learning why Green loves to grab the players and squeeze them. Whoa. But if you guys want to get Lanky Box merch from Walmart and Target, you guys can actually get the plushies or squishies and squeeze those. They all love to be squeezed. Yeah, get them, guys. They made fun of me for that, too. Sup, toothpick. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This man is picked on. You get picked on, you laugh at why? Guys, that sound? I am working on laughing at things that are not mature. Yeah. I'm also working yeah. on my brain because it's not very good. You're also working on not making sounds like that in real life. <laughs> oh, at whatever. The, at the dinner table. One more time. Sup, toothpick. <laughs> That you, bro? <laughs> that you, bro? Don't laugh, guys. Don't laugh. Be mature. Don't laugh at those sounds. <laughs> Gross. He farted. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I finally had enough. In that moment, the monster inside took over. And suddenly, my size didn't seem so funny anymore. The faculty broke us up before things got too bad. But still, they knew now not to mess with me anymore. At least in high school. Bruh. Many of us ended up going to the same local community college, and they actually started to be friendly to me. Apparently, I had earned their respect. Wow, so the meanies ended up being his friend, but are they fake friends? I think so, guys. Let's find out. But that, too, was all just a trick. One day, they invited me somewhere, out on the outskirts of town, called the Rainbow Friends Play Place. I had heard about it before, but I only knew that it was some kind of kid's birthday party venue with dumb mascots. Still, if they wanted to go, I wasn't about to question it. Me and my new friends loaded up in a car and were off. 
Though something seemed fishy about the trip from the start. Dude, look at their outfit. They're gonna try and break in there. Exactly, guys. They're gonna turn him into a rainbow friend. <sighs> when we finally got to the play place, it looked like it was closed. Abandoned, even. And it didn't take long before I understood what we were really doing there. All right, Stretch. These guys lock all the windows and doors on the first floor real tight. Which is why you're gonna reach right up there and open that one. But... But that's wrong! Come on, man. I thought you were cool. I... Okay. I did as they asked, and had no problem breaking in. It was eerie in there, but I wasn't about to let my new friends down. Haha! <laughs> What'd I tell ya? The Jolly Green Giant was useful for something after all. Before I had a chance to argue, we heard a terrible noise <laughs> echo off the walls. What? What? What was that? Nothing. It was probably just the wind, right? Y yeah, the wind. I was scared. More scared than I'd ever been in my entire life. Put that stupid thing away. You don't want us to get caught, do you? Now spread out. This place has got to have a safe somewhere. My parents took me here as a kid. The owner must have made bank. They were trying to rob the place. It was not long before they realized that Rainbow Friends Play Place had the strongest security system around. Oh my goodness, they got caught in 4K. I feel like the person that's watching them through that camera is red. It might be red, bro. Oh man, guys, never get caught in 4K. Bro, never do anything like this ever. Oh my goodness. Nothing here. Jeez, don't sneak up on me like that, beanpole. Listen, I think we should get out of here, man. Whatever you're after, it's not worth it. Ha, <laughs> I knew you were just a big scaredy cat. There's nothing here but you and me. Watch out! Uh, uh, look, look behind you! Huh? I ran as fast as I could. I kept running and running until I made my way to Odd World. Oh. High up above on the pier, people were having fun. Meanwhile, I was far below, running madly for my life from a monster that defied all reason. The entire world went dark. What? No one found me until the next morning. I was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do for me. I was permanently blinded. All because I sacrificed my values and tried to fit in with those morons. Wow. Everyone came to see me, though I couldn't see them. The school staff who allowed me to be treated this way. The therapist who suggested a placebo. My parents who paid me no mind until it was too late. All the other kids who stood by and watched my torment. But not my tormentors themselves. No, I knew they would never be heard from again. Wow, that's really sad, man. So when that gas EXE went in his eyes, he lost his vision, bro. That's crazy, guys. Whoa. I smiled to my myself at that thought, but my happiness quickly turned to shame. I turned everyone away. I didn't want any visitors. That didn't stop him from getting in, though. Who? Oh? Hello, my friend. How are you feeling? Who are you? I told the staff no visitors. That's red. That's red. The scientist. Look at his clothes, bro. You can see it's red, guys. Uh, ah, but I am not just any visitor. I am here on behalf of a very prestigious law firm. They say you have a real case against Oddworld. Why not give it a try? Don't you want to make those who wronged you hurt? Those who wronged me? There's too many of them to count. All right then, let's do this. Good, I can see your passion. Come with me, I will introduce you to my team. 
No. I will take care of you. No. Unbeknownst to me, the man led me straight back to the Rainbow Friends play place. Uh -oh. Though I only realized once it was too late. Just stand that, please. My associate will help get you strapped in. No! Strapped in? Indeed. Now hold still. Blue? Wait, I know that sound! It's that monster! What's going on? No! No! Come uh, now. This will only hurt a bit. Please! Let me go! Crazy guys. <laughs> I was the second rainbow friend. He called me Green, which I liked more than Beanpole. While he could not cure my blindness, he provided me with what I always wanted. Friends. <laughs> Real friends. <laughs> and soon, he became my friend too. So, what do you think? That's so awful. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Sorry? Sorry? Weren't you paying any attention? I love it here. And you will too. Oh. Uh, what What do you say? Won't you be my friend? <laughs> Is that green again now? Oh, it's clay. It's claymation. It's blue. It's, is that pink? This Rainbow Friends animation is so cool. There's green. Why are they coming out of alligator? There's orange. Yeah, it's that alligator game where you push the teeth. There's purple. <laughs> nice. A few moments later. Huh? Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? some portals? <laughs> oh, they're in the back room. Oh. Rainbow Friends are in the back room. It's like a portal. Oh, that's actually really cool. His arm goes in one and comes out the other. Wow! Oh, Flaming hot Cheetos. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, they're fighting, guys. Don't fight. Watch out, Blue's coming in. Whoa! This animation's awesome. This is cool. They turn into Rainbow Friends. Hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> okay. Now it's green. He's sleeping. We just saw the origin story of him. He's sleeping. He oh, he's getting out of bed. Oh, green's kind of cute. Oh, what's going on, dude? He sees a present, but really he wouldn't be able to see it. He go hear it. Oh, that's true, guys, because green cannot see. I got a jump. <gasps> oh my goodness, he got the gas mask prototype. Oh, oh, he like wrapped onto his face. Oh no, that's so bad. Wait. Oh my goodness, what is that? A towel? Oh, he's happy. He seems oh. to like it. Oh, maybe it's his new friend. Oh. It's like a spider suit. It's like he's Spider-Man. He loves it. Just like you guys should get the Lanky Box merch. You guys will love it. Oh, that's lit. Okay. Okay. They just cooked dinner. Oh. That looks tasty. Wow. So, guys, they're all friends. It looks like they're in the back room. Oh, yeah. They're the rainbow friends. Oh, that looks tasty. Wow. Oh, Green's going to steal it, I bet. Don't steal Blue's food. He needs food to grow big and strong. They're all so nice to each other. I'm glad they're not fighting anymore. Oh, they might fight. Look, see? I knew it. He t I knew it. He took his food. I knew it. Uh oh. Watch uh -oh. out. What? 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 He can't control the gas mask. Oh, no. The gas mask wants to eat, man. <gasps> take can't. it off. He can't take it off. Ew, it's like clamped onto his hand. That would be the worst thing ever. Ah. Oh, what is that? He wants to eat some soup. Yeah, I think so. So soon. Uh oh. Oh, it's like baby rainbow friend. Oh, you trying to help him take it off? Come on, please work. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're thinking. thinking. How do we take it off? You got an idea, bro? He got it. Oh, he got Thor's hammer. No way. Hey, yo, watch out, watch out. That would hurt so bad. He just oof green. Stop! Don't hit green. Oh, what's going on? Ouchie. Boom. Oh, yup. Yeah, I think it worked. <laughs> what is this animation? Is it gonna work? Oh, what's Orange gonna do? Oh, he's thinking he's gonna breeze fire. They're gonna oof their friend. Oh no. That's they... not gonna work. <laughs> Still not letting go, guys. Oh, okay, there's pink. This is a, a secret new character released. I, 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 the gas mask fell in love. Oh, wow. 
Yay! <laughs> that was Baby Blue, he's in bed. No way, guys. Oh, he's falling asleep. He's sleepy, there comes Green. And they gotta try to wake him up. Green playing the drums, trying to wake him up. Can't wake him up, let's see what there's Orange does. Orange playing the keyboard. Okay, I don't think so. No, okay, there's Purple. <gasps> oh, playing like a book or something. Oh. Okay. Oh, no way. Oh, it's the scientist Red, bro. Can Red do it with the triangle? He woke him up with a triangle. Wow! Wow! <laughs> and then Blue went back to sleep. And now Ray is in the bed, bro. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And now this is a secret Rainbow Friends dance battle video animation. No way, guys. It's Blue versus Red. Okay, what are they doing? Okay, they look happy. Uh-oh. They're gonna have a dance off. <laughs> <laughs> look at Purple watching, Oh, too. Purple's in the van. <laughs> he's dancing, he's dancing. Let's see Red's dance moves. He's flossing. No way. Oh, oh, he's break dancing. He's head spinning. That's awesome. Justin can do that. I can do that. I yeah. can do that. I can do that. Oh, okay. now Red's Red, getting into Red, it. Red's kind of doing the jiggle. Oh, I like it. Oh, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> ah, it's blue rainbow friend. He's chasing us. Run, dude. Wait, hide in your box. Oh, yeah. Let's use our boxes. Go. Oh, it worked. Oh, man. He ran past us. That was close, huh? Wait a minute. Justin, look behind you. Oh, it's purple, green, and orange. Keep running. Run! <laughs> what should we do? Oh, man. Okay, shh. I think we lost him. Oh, man, Adam, we gotta come up with a plan. How do we get away from the Rainbow Friends? Mm, think, think, think. Oh, wait a minute. You know how Rainbow Friends are all about boxes, right? Like, we hide in a box, we pick up these alphabet blocks, stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, what if we gave them the giant Lanky Box mystery box? Oh, yeah, because all the Rainbow Friends like boxes. Uh, okay, Adam, good idea. Let's split up, and hopefully this works. Okay, I'm gonna go head to Target and Walmart. Okay. I'm gonna lure all the friends over here. Uh, hey, blue, orange, purple, green, come over here. Uh, donut, chase me. <laughs> okay, Justin, I'm back. I got the merch. Okay, Adam, I'm cornered. Hooray. Uh, take this. Whoa! Oh, they love the merch, and now we're all friends. <laughs> yeah.